Hello, a quick video from the field today. I'm holding in my hands the Tyro 69, which I reviewed recently. Pretty good little quad. One of the problems I had with it is it tended to flutter, and I think it's because these props it has are so flexible that as soon as you go into 3S, it really becomes a problem. Till this was okay, but it's fun to fly these on 3S because, um, well, they're a bit crazier. So what I did today is I brought with me this little bag, and what it has in it is some HQ 65mm props and some Avant, I think they're two inch, four bladed props to see how they go. So what I'm going to do first is fly it on the original props just to remind myself what it's like and see what it's like in these conditions because these conditions are a little bit windy especially when you get up above the trees. I'm going to try and keep it in the sort of protected section down below and hope for the best uh, and then I'm going to swap over to HQ and then we'll look at the Avon props. Avon props are so different they might need a little bit of a retune but I figure it would give us a flavour to see whether that sort of fluttering would go away. Hopefully so. Let's find out. So here we go flying the little Tyra 69 on the original props and it is very shaky. I was confused here at first because it's like this is much worse than it was before and it's only on subsequent looking at this footage and looking at how it was flying before and looking at my other quads that I flew at the day I realized this much shakiness was down to the crosswinds I was getting through the trees but not necessarily feeling where I was. Uh, which is reflected in the next lot as well so that was it that's all I could manage on those props and I landed and then flew the next one so here we are with the HQ props which are much stiffer than the original ones and do pretty good until we until we start hitting that crosswind again and then we start getting shakier they are a lot more controllable and feel a lot better than the other ones there's still a lot of shaking in the air. Now, I only realized this was down to the wind after I was doing some tests at the same time with my Southlight X. The Southlight X was flying very nicely, but again, it suffered with the same sort of problem where it was, it was getting buffeted about in the wind. And this was what led me to come back and sort of rethink this and say, ah, this is what it's about. However, the conclusions I came to at the day and that I will talk about without doing sort of this sort of post analysis still hold true. So with that said, let's move on to the final set of props, the um, Emacs Evan props. Now I'd already done a, a little bit of a flight with that final part of the battery, but I only got about sort of less than a minute before that battery was given out so I went and took a clean full battery uh, and went ahead and tried to fly with them. Now we've got the same windy conditions so you'd expect the quad to be buffeting about and having quite sort of serious wobbles but these little Evan props seem to handle the conditions a hell of a lot better than those 65mm props would do. I mean it is windy you can see the sort of angle I'm maintaining just to stay in a straight line here but the the lack of buffeting is really quite amazing in terms of what these props are compared to the other ones. We can also get an awful lot of power out of this. We boost the throttle and it really goes for it. You will see that that battery is getting swallowed in that situation. So the, these are four bladed props. These are these are taking more amps than those little two bladed 65 mil ones but the benefit we see in performance is quite shocking. It's also um, a lot more manoeuvrable. Four bladed props will just catch the air a lot better than those little two blades. I mean, to be fair, if you're doing this, you're sort of out of the toothpick land because I, I feel it breaks the vague rules of toothpicks, but you know, who cares? It's, it's flying really nicely on these props. So yeah, I was very impressed. So, I'll flick now onto my conclusions I had at the field, which I had before I had the chance to go back and look at this and compare the wind on other quads and, and understand really what was happening there. So I wanted to put a full battery down there just to check the motors were not warm or anything like that, and they feel absolutely fine. So I certainly have to declare the winner of the uh, the prop battle, the Emacs Avans. So the HQs were much better but there was still um, some tuning to do there and I didn't do any tuning in between, I just based it on my initial one. So the original one's awful, the HQ better, these ones best. It doesn't really become a toothpick like this, it's more of a your general micro quad, but you know, it flies really nicely on this one, on, on the, my tune I had from last time. It could certainly be tidied up and I feel this was dragging a little bit more amps out of the battery, it wasn't lasting quite as long. So there's probably some in-betweens or some bits to do there, but certainly, 
I don't think the original props on the Tyro 69 do it any good, so definitely worth changing them. I hope that's helpful. See you next time. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.